one that I've been talking about trying to find for quite some time. It's the Retz's Helmet Shrike. Now, uh, if you go a little bit to the left, there you go. Just in the, there it's just sitting. Hello, beautiful. Now, there are a couple around of them r bouncing about in this African wattle tree, which is quite a big one, which is quite cool to see. And they're very pretty birds. Oh, actually, no, I don't think they're as pretty as the white crested helmet trunk. Very nice to see, very short. Oh, there it is, it's bouncing right at the top. I wonder where the w rest of them have gone, because there were, uh, was a whole flock of them. Uh, I don't know if this one's just been left behind now. Perhaps it's convinced that it's going to find a little insects that are sitting on this wattle tree. Or maybe it's also just taking a moment just to warm itself up after the, the chilly morning. And I know lo a lot of you laugh at Tristan and I, how we say that it's cold when, well, in some of the areas that you all live, you know, you get snow and we don't even get snow here. There's one, there it goes. Ah, oh, it's just flown off. There they go. Oh, they're just, now it's very difficult, unfortunately. They're just above us on the left of this marula. There we go, you've got them. There we go. How many were there? I think I saw, I think there's still some sitting off because I can hear some chat from the other tree. There must be about five of them. Only three f flew to the marula, though. But they're very cool little birds. I wish they would sing their beautiful song for us. They were very chatty uh, when we first got gotcha, And now they've gone... A little bit on the shy side I'm afraid I'm also wondering if this leopard hasn't just walked into Viotella camp it wouldn't surprise me as Tristan and I uh, we went to say hello to our friends who are at Gallego very quickly we ended up actually having dinner with them last night and on our way back there were leopard tracks over our footprints and we only live about 50 meters from uh, Gallego camp Oh, they're gone. I think they're just trying to catch, to catch the warmth, so they're going higher and higher up in the tree. So that leopard could have gone in there too. There's always a lot of antelope around and in and around camp. So. It